some parents now are teaching their kids about the concept of consent as early as two. Liz is here to talk about consent parenting, and they're saying it's never too young, really. You think of a toddler, you don't think they can absorb much, but not so. Yeah, it's, and I really liked working on the story. It was interesting. They really can absorb it at a young age if you narrate and speak with them. Yeah. So we're talking about teaching kids um, that it's okay to say no, maybe to hugs or kisses from relatives. So I spoke to an expert about how kids can be more comfortable setting personal boundaries at a really young age. The first thing that we teach is stop. If, some, if you don't like something, tell someone stop. It is a debate on social media and in the news. The concept of consent parenting. There's so much uh, sort of misunderstanding about the concept. And consent parenting is really about helping a child center their body rights and helping them to understand what the concept of consent is in all stages of their life. Rosalia Rivera is an educator and advocate. She says parents like Caitlin Courier are setting children up for success by teaching boundaries for both themselves and others. When we have a really solid foundation of consent parenting, of teaching about body autonomy, boundaries and consent, we can then start to teach abuse prevention from a really empowered place instead of a scary place. According to the CDC, about one in four girls and one in 13 boys in the United States experience child sexual abuse, nearly always by someone known and trusted. Rivera says lessons about consent can start early, as young as two years old. Which can be something as simple as teaching them that they don't have to hug or kiss someone if they don't want to. When they don't, you know, they can say no to a tickle if they don't want to, but they can also say yes. Pediatrician and parenting book author Dr. Tanya Altman says consent parenting is a modern twist on a parenting classic. I think it is important to teach your kids early on, like we used to when I was growing up, right? Don't talk to strangers, even if they offer you candy. It's, it's sort of the same thing, right? You know, your body is your personal space. Nobody should touch it. Teaching children about consent doesn't just show them how to keep their own bodies safe. It also shows them how to care for others and make sure everyone is okay. That I think is foundational for him that he doesn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. And he also knows that he has the right to not feel uncomfortable in his play. We do want to emphasize that if you're worried about your child being perceived as rude, if they don't want to hug or kiss grandma or grandpa, um, you know, Rivera said it's not about alienating them from affection, but rather letting them know that they can set boundaries on how they want to be treated. And it's OK to say no sometimes. If you do want to learn more about consent parenting, Rivera says education is key. She has a ton of resources on her website, consentparenting.com. I went on the website myself and I found it really helpful. It is good to know it makes sense that they absorb things. Kids mimic and absorb and they're listening to you even if they don't appear like they are <laughs> what I've found. Yeah, me too. Elizabeth, thanks. thanks.